In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Crop and Rotate tools to adjust your photos. Let's look at the Crop tool first. This can be found in the toolbar here, by using the shortcut key C, or in the Lens tool tab here. If I drag the side of the photo, it will crop using the opposite side as an anchor point. If I drag from the corner, the opposite corner will be used as the anchor point. If I hold down Shift, now I can maintain the aspect ratio of my crop. And if I hold down Alt, it will crop using the center as the anchor point. I can click anywhere inside the crop to move this. And while cropping, if I move my cursor point just outside any of the corners, I can also rotate the photo as well. When I'm happy with my adjustments, I can press Enter to see the new crop, or switch to another cursor tool like the Pan tool. If I'd like to choose another aspect ratio, I can do this in the Crop tool in the Ratio dropdown. So to bring up the crop tool quickly wherever I am on the photo, I need to make sure I have my crop tool selected. So I'll press C to switch to this now. Then I can just right click on the photo. So in my ratio drop down, we have lots of different options. Unconstrained will allow me to create any crop I'd like. Original will maintain the aspect ratio of the initial capture. And Output will use whatever dimensions are being used in my selected process recipe. So let's go to my Output Tool tab to see which process recipe is currently selected. So this recipe will output my photo to 2048 pixels on the long edge we can see these dimensions along the edge of my photo as well. Now when I crop my photo, we can see the long edge will always crop to 2048 pixels. If I select a new process recipe, you can see the dimensions will change automatically. To reset my crop, I can just right click to bring up my tool again and click on the reset button here. Now let's look at the Rotation and Flip tool, which can also be found in the Lens Tool tab. So using the Angle slider, I can rotate the photo. I can also use the left and right buttons to rotate the photo by 90 degrees. If I'd like to straighten the horizon of my photo, I can select my Straighten Cursor tool here, or use my shortcut key R. Now I can click once to create a starting point for my new horizon line, and following along where I think the horizon is, I can just click again to add the end point. Now my photo will be straightened. Just like before, I can right click on the photo with my straightened cursor selected to bring up the tool quickly. In the flip drop down, I can select either horizontal or vertical. So I'll choose horizontal. And again, if I want to reset my rotation adjustments, I can bring up the tool and just press the reset button here. 